Chapter 1, Basics of Composer. Go ahead and open up Composer here. I'm going to give you just a quick rundown, hopefully it doesn't take too long, on just the basics of how to use Composer, piece together the normal everyday things you would use. You start out with, you're going to open a brand new one, give it a name. Just to uh, let everybody know here, always go with a transparent background. It will give you better options when it comes to uh, planning this into your, your theme later for backgrounds and such. Hit OK. And it's going to give us our basic layout here. To go over what everything does here, the first uh, tool over here is your transformation tool which is just your basic pointer uh, your text tool a free hand drawing your lines rectangles circles these should be all basic for anyone who's ever used paint this one here is going to be the key tool that you guys use this is your button tool this creates your buttons which will become your applications once you punch it into theme builder now to add uh, an application slot, you merely click on this button, bring it over to your screen, and just place it anywhere you want. Every time you want to place a new one, just come back over, click on it, and place it. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick placement of four of them here, just like you'd have in a normal, uh, normal dock. Now you notice that they're all pretty white. They're all white here and you can't really see them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, what you need to do with them. Over here in the inspector pane, it gives you your properties for anything you have highlighted. It gives you the option to use your Blackberry, a Blackberry application. You have a click down list here, which are all your standard applications. A third party application, which still has a lot of bugs in it so we'll just bypass that for now your application menu which would be click to go to your app screen or use device application order this will set it to a a designated slot which uh, chapter 2 when I go into SVGs I'll tell you about the slots currently by placing this one first it'll be in slot 0 I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in device application order which will mean that they're the first four apps in your theme now with just like any other program you can highlight everything you have on your screen just by clicking and dragging I'm going to show you put all four of them in there kind of randomly so you highlight all of them come up to object and align you can align all your buttons nice and pretty like you can also come back up if you're a little OCD and you can come down here to spacing and it will space them out evenly set them in place how you want them and voila you have your first four icons for your theme laid out nice and perfect and they'll show up in the application order of which your theme is Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put a background behind this. If you've seen any of the hidden dock themes out there or my blue goo themes, this is how I put those nice little backgrounds in. Go to File and go to Import. Just bring up a dialog where you just select the image that you previously made to put into your theme. I have here a little background dock that I used in one of my original themes. Highlight it hit open and voila now when you put in a background like this and you cover up your original icons here works just like anything else that goes on top simply right click it go to order and you can send it to the back and your icons come to the front this right here gives you your basic dock nice little tab and four icons 
Now, everybody's asked how to put the uh, application menu on the, on the screen so that you can click anywhere to get to your applications menu. I'll show you how to do that real simple. We're going to come over here and select the rectangle tool. I'm going to just create a rectangle on my screen. I'm going to come back up to my pointer, which highlights my rectangle. Now, over here in the inspector theme, come over here to the transform tab it gives you opacity we're going to go ahead and make this rectangle completely opaque once we've done that we'll come back onto it and right click it and at the bottom list here we have convert to button and click on convert to button you'll notice over here in the objects you have all your objects that you placed into it you now have a rectangle button. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to go over here to where the events are for it on activate. I'm going to bring up a new dialog. These are the actions that you can add to any event you want to put on here. I'm going to click on this one here, which is your launch application tab. Now I'm going to set launch application to that button. And I'm going to click on application menu. Now when that button is clicked, it takes you to your app screen. That right there is the most basic piecing together of a SVG. Um, there are a lot of things I'll go into when we go into uh, my second chapter of SVGs. But this alone is enough to uh, give you a basic start. To finish it up, Go to File, Export, and to SVG. This screen at this time means nothing. There shouldn't be anything changed. Hit OK. It'll give you your save dialog. You see I've already saved one here, so we're just going to go ahead and overwrite it. SVG document here. And that concludes the basics of Composer. We'll get into some more in my next attempt at these videos.